Hello everybody, I'm back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week has gone well for you and I hope that today's gone well for you. Today is Saturday, March the 23rd, 2024. It is about 12, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope that you're all enjoying your weekend. I hope that you're all able to do things that are productive or do things that make you happy. You know, hobbies, spending time with friends, family, traveling, etc. Do something that makes you happy this weekend because you worked hard all week. Look, you deserve to have fun. I kind of changed up my um, background a little bit. Well, not the background, but the ring light color. Um, I changed it to like a light blue color so it kind of gives that arctic feel that chill arctic feel to the video um, but I uh, hope y'all are cool with that I'm gonna kinda like start changing it up for each video but this one we gonna do the arctic color but um, let's talk about road rage right road rage this is a serious problem um, this is a serious problem. Um, the fact that we are not able to, you know, drive up and down these streets, these highways, these interstates without some nutcase pulling out a weapon. It, it's just unbelievable because I don't know. And what inspired me to make this video was just seeing this story where this guy he um he lost his life uh, he lost his life on the on the freeway and uh, they um, still are unable to find who did it um, it's sad and I think this all stems from just the stress because we're seeing an increase in this I mean this has always gone on but you know throughout the years I mean this is increasing you know year after year and the simple fact is that I think there's many different reasons as to why people are so on edge as to why people are so quick to go grab a weapon to solve their problems um, in most of these instances somebody who's willing to do that over like like let's say somebody cut you off in traffic right if your first thought is to go pull out a weapon and start firing it at their vehicle then you have not learned basic conflict resolution skills you don't go grabbing a weapon because somebody cut you off in traffic that's just what's gonna happen out here I mean not everybody's a perfect driver they might have done it by accident that maybe they didn't realize that you know that they cut you off but your reaction how you respond you know to difficult stressful situations tells me and a lot of people the type of person that you are your character right if you're willing to take somebody's life over a simple like you know okay somebody cut you off somebody did this on the road let it go you know let it go you know let it go somebody's tailgating you just let them go around you don't get all angry and crazy I know driving can be stressful. Trust me, I'm a truck driver. I know it can be stressful. Any crazy situation that you can think of, I've probably been in it when driving. You know, people cutting me off in an 18-wheeler. You know, people tailgating me in an 18-wheeler. You have to let it go. You have to let it go. Let them go around you slow down let them get on by because a lot of times they're in a rush anyway you know and if they're 
you know, trying to run you off the road or something like that. Just slow down, pull over, and if need be, call the authorities. If need be, call the authorities, because that's absolutely ridiculous, and that's somebody putting your life in danger. And that's another thing, too. It's not even that. It's not even about grabbing a weapon. You know, some people try to run you off the road. So, yeah. It, it's crazy. We got people who are um, a lot of nutcases driving these vehicles out here. And you have to understand that your reaction is what matters. Because I've seen videos on YouTube where like both cars are literally trying to run each other off the road you know both and then both people get out of the car and they start fist fighting and then one of them pulls out a weapon or both of them pull out some sort of weapon it, it, it gets really really ridiculous how people just lack that basic skill of conflict resolution you have to learn conflict resolution if your response to any sort of stress or conflict is to go get a weapon, that's not good. That's something that really, like, you really need to get that checked out. You know, your mental state. Why are you like this? Where is, where is this coming from? Where is this, this anger, this anxiety, this... You know, being quick to react a certain way. Like, where is this coming from? A lot of times it's stress. People are going through tough times right now. People aren't making enough to feed their families. People aren't making enough to pay the bills. You know, people can't afford these rents, mortgages, etc., Car insurance has gone up like crazy. Cars. It's all come to a boiling point. And I've heard too on the news that the USA has fallen out of the top 20 happiest countries in the world. And I think I know why. Um, it's a multitude of things. Just the fact that things are unaffordable. You know, corporate greed. That's where all this is just... It, 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 this is where all this is coming from. This is why people are more stressed out. People are more stressed out. People are starting not to care anymore about how they treat other people. And that's where the road rage comes from. The road rage. Please be safe out here on these roads. Um, man, it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Some of the videos that I've seen. <laughs> road rage that really shouldn't even be a thing you shouldn't be raging on the road road rage shouldn't even exist but because people become so angry and so riled up over the littlest things road rage exists in the first place and like I say it's about how you react it's about how you handle the situation. Road rage. There's people who will pull a weapon because you honked at them a certain way. You 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 honked the horn and you just kept your hand on the horn and it's ooh, you know, you got you know, people get riled up over stuff like that. You can't, you can't do that. You can't get riled up over that. You know, people are going to do stuff like that. They're going to hunt for basically no reason at all. And I mean, think about it. Don't get so riled up over someone honking. Think about it. It's just a feature in a vehicle. It's not something that you should get riled up over. You know. <laughs> it's a feature in a vehicle. You honk the horn makes a loud noise it's nothing to get riled up over <laughs> you know 
have to remember people some people honk at the most silliest things you know and so I don't get it I don't understand this this need to just get all riled up over something that happens on the road but like I say it comes from the stress you know people are stressed out over a lot of things and you know when they're on the road they drive crazy because trust me there's a lot of people that drive crazy you know I get on the freeway every day when I go to work and I see people speeding down the uh, freeway 80 90 miles an hour and sometimes this is on a toll road where there's literally cops like <laughs> the cops basically just about live on that toll road that I take every day <laughs> and uh you know, they always got somebody stopped and you'll still see people speeding down a toll road because people don't care. Especially people in these sports cars and these lifted trucks. People don't care. They don't care about safety. They don't care about, you know, others' well-being. All they want to do is get there and get there fast. And I don't care if I put other people's lives at risk. That's their mentality you have to understand it so the best thing you can do is just you know go to speed limit a lot of people aren't going to speed limit a lot of people go like if they're if the speed limit is 60 miles an hour everybody's doing like 70 miles an hour if the speed limit is 65 miles an hour everybody's doing like 75 miles an hour so i'd say the best thing you can do is do the speed limit you know just just relax, decompress while you're driving. I know sometimes you can't, it's hard to do that while you're driving because people are always doing stupid stuff on the road, but just try your best to do that. It'll be better for you mentally when you're driving. It'll be a little bit less fatiguing too to always constantly have anxiety about you know, what if somebody does this or cuts you off and, you know, don't worry about that type of stuff. If it happens, make sure you react, slow down, give a, a, a safe following distance and just drive. Shouldn't be any road rage. Road rage is absolutely ridiculous. And it's sad that so many people have lost their lives out on the road because somebody reacted in some silly way, some nutcase reacted in a silly way and pulled out a weapon and ended someone's life. We have to do better. We have to do better. You know, as human beings, we have to do better. It's like, why? Why do we have to be this way? Why do we? Well, it's not everybody, but why do certain people have to, you know, be, be that way? Violent. You know. Anyway, y'all. Um, I think that's about it for this video. I just kind of wanted to talk about this topic because when I saw that story yesterday about this guy who ended up passing away on the freeway it was unfortunate it was unfortunate um, I don't know I don't know but like I say only you can control your reaction. So I plead of you to just relax. Don't get super riled up and do something crazy because somebody in a car did something crazy to you. You know, they try to cut you off, you know, run you off the road and do all this crazy, silly stuff. Tailgating, that's another big problem too. 
is people in these vehicles they want to tailgate you you know especially like a lot of times it's people in like these really huge like lifted trucks with the oversized tires and all that I tend to see them a lot of times tailgating people and driving fast and crazy you know I've almost been, been hit by one of those like huge vehicles and um, I'm in a car so I wouldn't really fare too well if I got hit in one of those but um, man this is slow down it's not that important oh and another thing too is have better time management skills if you're somebody that leaves at the very last minute and just speeds to work and you still get there late anyway you have to have better time management skills I think some of this some of these issues with people driving all crazy and stuff that just comes from a lack of time management and your lack of time management skills shouldn't endanger other people on the road you know you have to learn how to manage your time better leave and give yourself plenty of time I mean it's basic time management is one of the easiest things but at least when it comes to going to work you can get to work on time every single day or just about every single day I mean sometimes it's just, it's just impossible but most days you can get to work on time or before you even are scheduled to clock in but we like to wait till the last minute you know and I know people aren't eager to go to work and that's probably why they do it too but when you're outside you know out here on the road traveling just be safe give yourself plenty of time give yourself plenty of room it would be safer for everybody on the road if you did that and road rage wouldn't exist road rage wouldn't exist <laughs> That still kind of baffles me, the fact that it road rage even exists. There's people that get so riled up, you know, because of a lack of conflict resolution skills. But anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm going to bring this video to a close. It is about 1227 Central Standard Time. We're pretty much at the 18 minute mark. Um... Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned because I'm going to have something uploaded tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good Saturday and have a good weekend.